to Muslim Americans across the country, uh, Ramadan Kareem. You know, our annual White House Iftar recognizes the sacredness of Ramadan to more than 1.5 billion Muslims around the world. It's a time when Muslims recommit themselves to their faith, following days of discipline with nights of gratitude for the gifts that God bestows. It's a time of spiritual renewal and a reminder of one's duty to our fellow man, to serve one another and lift up the less fortunate. The Quran teaches that God's children should tread gently upon the earth and when confronted by ignorance, reply, peace. In honoring these familiar values together of peace and charity and forgiveness, we affirm that whatever our faith, we're all one family. At tonight's dinner, we especially are pleased to welcome members of the diplomatic corps representing our friends and partners across the globe. And a very warm welcome to all of the ambassadors here tonight representing Muslim majority nations. We're greatly honored by your presence, and thank you very much for being here. Some very good friends. To each of you and to the Muslims around the world, Ramadan Mubarak. So these challenges around the world and here at home uh, demand the very qualities you summon every day during Ramadan. Sacrifice, discipline, patience, a resilience that says we don't simply endure, but we overcome. That together we can overcome ignorance and prejudice. Uh, together we will overcome conflict and injustice, uh, not just with words, but with deeds. For the Islamic faithful, the iftar dinner marks the end of the daily period of fasting and spiritual reflection that occurs throughout the holy month of Ramadan. Iftars mark the coming together of families and friends to celebrate a timeless message of peace, clarity, and love. There is great love. These are the freedoms and the ideals and the values that we uphold. And it's more important than ever because around the world and here at home, there are those who seek to divide us by religion or race or sect. Here in America, many people personally don't know someone who's Muslim. They mostly hear about Muslims in the news, and that can obviously lead to a very distorted impression. We saw this play out recently at a mosque in Arizona. A group of protesters gathered outside with offensive signs against Islam and Muslims. And then the mosque's leaders invited them inside to share in the evening prayer. One demonstrator who accepted the invitation later described how the experience changed him, how he finally saw the Muslim American community for what it is, peaceful and welcoming. That's what can happen when we stop yelling and start listening. That's why it's so important always to lift up the stories and voices of proud Americans who are contributing to our country every day. And we have a lot of inspiring Americans here today. Tonight, we give thanks for the renewed bonds of friendship and cooperation we have forged with our valued partners from all across the Middle East. So many of you I spent time with not so long ago, about a year ago. That was one of the great two days of my life. That was one of the most fabulous times, and I think we accomplished a lot together. Only by working together can we achieve a future of security and prosperity for all. For this reason, I was proud to make my first foreign trip as president to the heart of the Muslim world, where I addressed an assembly of more than 50 leaders of Muslim-majority countries. That was something. The partnership and solidarity that we established over the past year has only deepened with time. Uh, so many friendships, so many meetings, even in the Oval Office. And uh, we've made a lot of progress. I think a lot of tremendous progress. That's what so many of you do every single day. And that's what we have to continue to do together here in America and around the world. Uh, as the Quran teaches, let us answer with peace. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful Ramadan. The Ramadan season. Let us pray for peace and justice, and let us resolve that these values will guide us as we work together to build a bright and prosperous future that does honor and glory to God.